Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about some updated facts on how businesses are using social media. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Setzer. Yeah, good afternoon, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. We're talking about a report out, Chad, from Social Media Examiner. This is their sixth annual 2014 social media marketing industry report. Um, they do this every year, and so we're reporting on the 2014 results uh, from this survey which does talk to over 2,800 marketers, which is a pretty large sample. And, and you know, pretty much the theme here is that, you know, social media is no longer the new kid on the block. It's been recognized as a pretty important part of the overall marketing strategy that every business and even small businesses really should have in place. And some of these uh, data are, you know, kind of informing that this momentum in social media is not slowing down. And let's get into some of that uh, today. So. Chad, um, one of these interesting questions here was how important is social media? And 92% of marketers said that social media is important to their business as opposed to in last year's survey, 2013 survey, 86% said it was important. So that's a pretty large increase. 83% um, of marketers said they have integrated their social media activities with traditional marketing activities. In 2013, we only saw 79% saying they had done that. So again, that one also edging up. So it seems like the trend is continuing. The social media is uh, invading the marketing strategy in very good ways, and marketers are indicating it's still quite important and becoming even more so, in fact. Yeah, absolutely. And I think there are a couple questions that are that are interesting that even as this this uh, the growth in social media and the penetration of marketing departments has grown, that there still are a lot of questions people are looking to get answers to. And so here are some of the top questions that, that people still wanted answers to. One was what social media tactic uh, were the are the best? And that's 91% of people wanted that question answered. The next one after that was how to best engage your audience, 89%. And that is a really difficult one. Um, next one was a very important one, how to measure ROI. And uh, you know only 37% of marketers said that they can effectively measure ROI in social media. But that was up from last year where only 26% said. So there's still a big gap there and still clearly a lot of demand in order to fill the gap on how to get the right analytics. Um, I think that that means that, that clearly some businesses are figuring out how to do social media and, and why and when it works, uh, but there were a lot of benefits, other benefits that people said that they saw from social media. So here's a, a nice list of some uh, of the sort of the top places people saw benefits in social media. 92% said that they had seen increased brand exposure when using social media. 80% said they saw increased traffic. 72% uh, said that they had developed loyal fans for their brand through social media. 71% said that they uh, had helped with marketing insight. And I'm not going to go through the whole list here, but 66% said that it actually had helped them generate leads. So Adam, I think that really social media, there's still you know the, the penetrations there. People know they need to be doing it. Clearly, there's still a lot of um, desire for better analytics. A very small percentage of people feel like they've got their, their real handle on it, but there's a lot of benefits here, so we would expect this to continue to grow, right? Very interesting, yeah, and I think that stat about struggling to nail down the return on investment is particularly interesting because I know we've, we've speculated on this over the years, Chad, through our brown bags and in our forum and uh, in our webinars is, you know, will social media be essentially a fad? or will you be able to nail down the ROI? And typically things that have a hard time establishing direct return on investment usually end up more in the fad column, yet that hasn't happened here. Social media is still trucking. And I know we've had this debate kind of on parallel lines about does social media directly impact the rankings? Coming from the SEO side, of course, the holy grail there was to show that social media would drive your rankings. And that's been a little debunked as well. We haven't seen as strong data on that as we would have thought. So again, you would think that marketers might be backing off social media with a hard time nailing down ROI directly or showing a direct impact on rankings. But this data suggests that's just not the case. And I think, Chad, you're right on all these points and that a lot of small businesses just see that it works, particularly hyper-local businesses, a lot of nonprofits, a lot of, you know, and even big brands are using this to their advantage. So I think they're going to continue to shake out some of these problems is my guess. Uh, as they as this continues to be a valuable channel. Well, that's our coverage today of Social Media Examiner's sixth annual Social Media Marketing Industry Report. The numbers from 2014 are very interesting. As always, we'd like to hear your comments, and we hope you'll drop one and interact with us a little bit. And we also would really love it if you would subscribe so we could see you back here tomorrow for another brown bag.